Hi, and welcome to our channel. Innovative blockchain technology has been implemented in various crypto projects, but few have managed to achieve the proper balance between usability, accessibility, and features. Waves are one of those exceptions, which has been able to fully leverage the user-friendly blockchain network created to enable the future of Web3 applications. In this video, we will detail all the important aspects of the exchange and its national currency to help traders understand its usability and make the right choice. Waves are one of the few cryptocurrency projects that have stood the test of time. While Waves usually refers to the cryptocurrency itself, it is also the name of the Waves blockchain platform. As you may have guessed, Waves cryptocurrency is a token used on the Waves blockchain platform. Created to facilitate asset tokenization as well as crypto and fiat transfers, the Waves blockchain platform has since evolved to support smart contracts and decentralized application development. Waves are the currency used to coin tokens, process transactions, and reward miners in this ecosystem. Since its inception, Waves has had a single goal – the mass adoption of blockchain technology. To achieve this goal, it has focused on user experience and building relationships with legacy institutions in both the public and private sectors. Waves have been and continue to be one of the leaders in crypto, introducing technologies such as one of the first decentralized exchanges and providing multiple partnerships with legacy institutions at a time when other projects were just starting to develop into the cryptocurrency world. Waves were founded in 2016 by Ukrainian theoretical physicist Sasha Ivanov. Before creating Waves, Ivanov was one of the co-founders of the CoinMat platform. He was also actively involved in the development of the NXT blockchain, which was noted in the Waves white paper as the main source of inspiration for the Waves blockchain platform. Ivanov noticed a critical flow in cryptocurrency and blockchain, ease of implementation. According to him, this is a twofold issue. First, the user experience of people buying, trading, and storing cryptocurrencies can be very confusing. As a result, learning how to buy, trade, and store cryptocurrency usually requires a steep learning curve, which fundamentally makes cryptocurrency less appealing to the average person. The second problem is that legacy organizations are skeptical of decentralized open source blockchains. Many see things like a distributed ledger as a security threat rather than an operational benefit. To make matters worse, those responsible for deciding whether to integrate blockchain solutions into their business may find it hard to understand the underlying technology, forcing them to abandon it altogether. Waves raised more than $16.4 million in bitcoins during its ICO, which ran from April 2016 to May 2016. That was equivalent to about 30,000 bitcoins at that time and each Waves token was sold to investors for 38,000 satoshi, which was about 19 cents of US dollars. Unlike many other ICMs, the Waves token was created on its blockchain and was deposited into investors' wallets on the Waves blockchain platform, when the main Waves network went live a few months later. The Waves blockchain has undergone many changes since it was first introduced in 2016. Despite these changes, its structure has remained the same. The Waves blockchain was originally written in Scala and built using the Scorex platform, which is described in the Waves white paper as an approach to the current state of the network as an alternative to full transaction history, as a reference for consensus. This allows Waves to avoid the blockchain bloat that some other cryptocurrencies experience. The Waves blockchain was originally designed with two layers. The first is the core layer. It is centralized and consists of full nodes that have a complete record of all transactions in the blockchain to provide the processing power to maintain the network. The second layer is the external layer, and it is decentralized and consists of more numerous light nodes that store only records of the most recent transactions and pass them on to the full registration in the Waves blockchain. If there is a mismatch between transaction history 
accessories. The blockchain temporarily branches out until the correct version is determined, depending on which fork lasts the longest. Lightweight nodes can also create their software extensions for the blockchain using JavaScript. These plugins don't modify the underlying blockchain, but instead are compared to apps in the Apple Store or Google Play Store. The Waves blockchain consensus is achieved through a new mechanism called the least proof of stake. Like proof of stake, every complete node in the Waves blockchain that contains a Waves balance has a chance proportional to its balance to create this block. The L in LPOS stems from the fact that lightweight nodes can rent out their share to any full node they want. This increases the odds that a full node will create a block and get rewarded, which is then shared with the lightweight nodes that have rented out their stakes. Although mining rewards are paid in waves, full node operations can pay rewards to lightweight nodes in other tokenized assets in the waves blockchain. Initially, full nodes had to have 10,000 waves to contribute to the main blockchain. In 2018, this was reduced to 1,000 waves after a community vote. The waves community can vote to change the rate every 100,000 blocks to account for changes in the market price of the waves token. This ensures that the barriers to mining are not too high and that miners are added adequately rewarded. The Waves blockchain was originally designed to facilitate the transfer of fiat currency and cryptocurrency and to optimize the tokenization of assets. Using the Waves platform, users can deposit multiple cryptocurrencies and fiat currencies through external gateway service providers. These assets can then be sent through the Waves platform as tokens and then withdrawn back into their original fiat or cryptocurrency form through the gateway. You can get all these by downloading the Waves extension into your browser. Imagine you want to send $100 using the Waves platform. You must either pay by credit card or send a wire transfer to a gateway service provider, such as Simplex. Once Waves receives the payment, they will transfer the first $100 token to your Waves wallet. You would then send the tokenized dollars to your friend or family member who would then convert the $100 tokens back to $100 for a fee. They would then send the money to their bank to the same or similar gateway provider. This system is pretty brilliant because it shifted the burden of any know-your-customer and anti-money laundering rules from the Waves platform to the gateway providers. As for tokenization, any user could create their token in seconds on the Waves platform for a fee of just one Wave. Most importantly, these tokens could easily be traded with other tokenized assets using the Waves platform. This was considered by many to be a game-changer in the world of tokenization, as other tokens typically needed to earn a significant reputation before they could be traded on any exchanges for other assets. At first glance, Waves' performance as an asset is quite consistent with most other cryptocurrencies. Specifically, after it went public in June 2016, the price of Waves dropped from just over $1 to about 10 cents of US dollars in the first two weeks. Prices remain unchanged until the bull run of 2017-18, when Waves became one of the largest cryptocurrencies by market capitalization at a record high of more than $18 per coin. With the circulating offering of 100 million, this gave it an impressive market capitalization of more than $1.8 billion at its peak. While Waves hasn't come close to recovering its previous highs, it has since managed to hold support around $1. This contrasts with many other cryptocurrencies that have been buried in cyberspace after what's left of retail investors left the market following the December 2018 crypto crash. In addition, those who participated in the Waves ICO are still in the black by a healthy 500%. Waves also remains one of the best cryptocurrencies by market capitalization. If you want to buy Waves, you are in luck. According to CoinMarketCap, Waves has a whopping 132 trading pairs on more than two dozen exchanges, including the Waves Exchange. 
That's not surprising when you remember how adamant Sasha Iwano is about building partnerships, both inside and outside of the crypto community. To create a Waves wallet, users need to download the online client from the official Waves website. Visit the page and select the Get Waves tab in the upper right corner of the home page. Users will now have to accept liability in case of loss of seeds or funds, which lie in the wallet holder and not on the Waves platform servers. After creating a Waves wallet, users are given several options to purchase Waves coins. Users who intend to buy Wave coins or Waves DEX can either buy them with fiat currencies such as the US dollar, euro or yuan or with various leading cryptocurrencies. Before purchasing Waves coins, users must first fund their Waves account from their preferred source of funds. Cryptocurrency deposits, users are given a wallet address that they need to copy so that they can transfer coins from the wallet where they are held. However, to deposit fiat money, users need to go through a quick verification process through SCP. They need to select the Pass Verification tab and enter all the necessary personal information, after which the account will be funded and users can use the amount of credit to purchase Wave coins. While there are already many competitors in this space, most notably Ethereum, EOS, Lisk and NEO, Waves stands out for its understanding of what it takes to massively adopt cryptocurrency and other blockchain technologies, right down to creating a coding aspect accessible to the average person. Moreover, Ethereum is often referred to as a decentralized world computer on which anything can be built. In contrast, Waves is a particularly centralized blockchain that supports many customizable plugins, smart contracts and decentralized applications. Since the Waves exchange is listed on CoinMarketCap and is directly linked to the Waves blockchain, this means that the entire Waves stock is technically available for trading, although it is not mined yet. This is because the entire Waves stock is exposed to trading via the exchange's connection to the Waves blockchain. This is a rather sneaky sleight of hand by the Waves development team, which effectively guarantees a high rating for the coin. CoinMarketCap calculates the market capitalization by multiplying the supply instead circulation by the market price aggregated from pairs on exchanges. Thank you for watching this video. Check out the channel for more interesting videos.